Guys, fellas, gentlemen, I'm talking to you. If you've got a day coming up or a really special someone you want to impress, I've got a delicious dish for you. We are going to make the classic sole almondine, and on the side, we're going to be serving lemon smashed potatoes and a great hash of Brussels sprouts and smoked bacon. It's a delicious dish and one that will definitely get you some brownie points. So first things first, we've got a nice big wide nonstick pan. It gives you a great crust, and it's also super easy to clean up. And we're going to take a little bit of whole butter, and we're going to drop it down into the pan and we're going to let this kind of warm up for a second because we want to toast our almonds in this. All right, the almonds are going to go right in. Let's kind of let those guys start to toast for a second. Well, our almonds are looking really good here and we are ready to go with our fish. So we got our fish, all right, and we're going to season this up with a little bit of salt and also a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. And then we're going to take the fish, drop it into the flour and then shake off the excess so it's not too much. And then we're gonna go straight with our egg wash here and then carefully drop the fillets into the egg and then just kind of roll it around so it's well coated. And then we're gonna drop that straight into our nutty butter and our extra virgin olive oil. All right, so while the fish is cooking, let's talk about two side dishes, which I really like a lot. We are going to make uh, braised Brussels sprouts, which we've shaved really thin with our mandolin. And this is one of my favorite tools in the kitchen because I can burn through two pounds of Brussels sprouts and really kind of cut them super thin. So they cook up really crisp, they cook up really quick, and they're really super delicious. So we're going to take our Brussels sprouts, all right, we're going to drop them in the pan, but also first a little bit of garlic. We're going to throw that right in the bottom and also some fresh shallot and let that start to kind of cook away in that delicious smoky bacon fat. Then we're going to add our Brussels sprouts straight to the pan here and we're going to cook this with a little bit of chicken stock, a nice little splash right on top of that and then we want to cut it with a little bit of balsamic vinegar and then we're going to put the lid on and let these guys start to do their thing. Another great side dish our simple mashed potatoes. We're gonna add a little bit of cream, a little bit of butter, and then some lemon zest, which really gives it a fresh flavor with one of my favorite kitchen tools, the microplane. And this is really good for Parmesan cheese. It's uh, great for fresh grated cinnamon and nutmeg. Uh, it's perfect for just pulling off exactly what you need. And it pulls off the zesty bit of the lemon, uh, but leaves the pith, which is the bitter part behind. All right, so we got our potatoes and our Brussels sprouts, and let's get back to the fish. All right, so our fish is cooked on one side. And this you gotta see, it's really, really gorgeous. It's nice and tender, it's really flaky, and look at the gorgeous crust on that. All right, so we're gonna finish our sauce here. So we got some chopped parsley, some lemon, some freshly cut shallot, a little bit of whole butter left over, and we've also got some white wine. And then some fresh cracked pepper, and we are good to go. So our fish is finished, our sauce is smelling delicious, our almonds are toasted, this is done, our side dishes look great, now it's time to plate. All right, so we've got the warm lemon potatoes, and we have our Brussels sprouts braised with bacon, Beautiful sole, and put that right on top. That way, every time you put a fork through it, you get a different taste, a different sensation. Our beautiful lemon sauce is going to go right on top. For a fish, look at that, isn't that beautiful? We've got our toasted almonds on top of that. And life is good. If you've got a big day coming up, you want a great recipe, this is going to be one for you. I'm Tyler Florence from my Mill Valley Kitchen to yours. Macy's keeps it cooking. I'll see you guys later. Thank you.